The History of Sprouts Documentation about sprouting seeds has been traced back over 5,000 years ago by the ancient Chinese physicians who recognized and prescribed sprouts for curing a variety of illnesses. Some of the oldest recorded seeds stored were found in the ancient Egyptian pharaoh's tombs. From Greek philosopher Theophrastus to the medieval religious orders, the brassica vegetables were cultivated extensively for food and medicine. While the benefits of cruciferous vegetables and sprouting seeds have been observed for thousands of years, it wasn't until 1992 when researchers at the John Hopkins University discovered the anti-carcinogenic properties of a natural antioxidant called sulforaphane in cruciferous vegetables that we had scientific evidence of the mechanism at work. In 1997, broccoli sprouts made national news after the New York Times reported on another John Hopkins study that showed broccoli sprouts contain up to a hundred times more sulforaphane than in the mature broccoli head. Interestingly, this news of the incredible benefits of broccoli sprouts created a temporary global shortage of the seeds and increased the price over other types of sprouting seeds for years to come. Since these initial studies by John Hopkins University, there have been hundreds of published scientific research papers on the vast benefits of sulforaphane in human and animal studies. We are going to review a list of evidence-based research into the incredible molecule sulforaphane. Our first benefit section will focus on sulforaphane and cancer. Cancer is more common in dogs than any other mammal ever studied. Research into canine cancers and sulforaphane have shown to be promising. Sulforaphane can prevent and combat cancer. The consumption of cruciferous vegetables are correlated with significantly reduced risk of multiple cancers. Sulforaphane can kill cancer cells while it has very little effect on healthy cells. Sulforaphane consumption reduces DNA damage and mutation when cancer-causing chemicals bind to DNA. Sulforaphane is shown to kill breast cancer and prostate cancer. Sulforaphane inhibits the growth of mammary cancer in animals. Sulforaphane in cruciferous vegetables activate the detoxification pathways which inhibit cancer growth. Sulforaphane has been shown to kill colorectal cancer. Sulforaphane can inhibit cancer growth and tumor-initiating properties in oral cancer, both in vitro and in vivo. Sulforaphane caused a dose-dependent induction of apoptosis in acute leukemia cell lines. Sulforaphane is a potent anti-glioblastoma agent that targets several apoptosis and cell survival pathways. Sulforaphane may be a potentially effective anti-tumor agent for thyroid cancer. Broccoli sprouts can serve as a good dietary source of sulforaphane in vivo and that have significant inhibitory effects on prostate tumor genesis. Sulforaphane can protect against tobacco-related oral cancers. Sulforaphane is promising for bladder cancer prevention. Sulforaphane can even act as a natural sunscreen. Sulforaphane has shown to work in conjunction with chemotherapy. In 2018, sulforaphane remains at the forefront of cancer research. The six mechanisms in which sulforaphane can fight cancer are, it inhibits phase one enzymes, stimulates phase two enzymes, induces apoptosis, reduces inflammation, changes gene activation deactivation and can inhibit cancer cell growth. Sulforaphane and the detoxification pathways. A 2008 study by the Environmental Working Group found toxins in pets to be 40% higher than those of their human counterparts. Sulforaphane has shown rapid and sustained detoxification abilities in numerous well-designed studies. Sulforaphane has the ability to expel carcinogens such as benzene and acrolein from the body. Benzene is a pollutant from exhaust of cars and cigarette smoke and is considered a carcinogen by the World Health Organization. Dogs living in highly polluted areas can benefit from the detoxification properties of sulforaphane. 
Sulforaphane can remove the carcinogen acrolein, which can be formed when carbohydrates, fats, and proteins are heated. The process to make most kibble is via high heat extrusion. Acrolein is a potential byproduct of this process and has been shown to be a carcinogen in dogs. Sulforaphane has shown to mediate other carcinogens such as heterocyclic amines, aflatoxins, and other mycotoxins. These carcinogens can plague kibble due to its content, such as corn, soy, and wheat, and processing via high heat extrusion. Moreover, the U.S. allowable amount of deadly carcinogens in pet food can be up to six times higher than allowed by the European Union. Sulforaphane has been identified as one of the most potent inducers of phase two enzymes. It acts by activating NRF2. Sulforaphane also activates the antioxidant response elements. This is the ARE pathway. Finally, sulforaphane also increases glutathione S transferase activity. You might be asking, what does this all mean? Simply put, the consumption of sulforaphane rich cruciferous vegetables, such as broccoli sprouts, is a powerful way to deactivate and excrete harmful compounds that your pet is exposed to on a daily basis. But wait, there's more, much, much more. Sulforaphane reduces anxiety behaviors. Sulforaphane reduces depression-like behaviors. Sulforaphane can promote hair growth. Sulforaphane can prevent seizures. Sulforaphane can protect the gut from steroid damage. Sulforaphane can protect the brain and increase BDNF. Sulforaphane can improve cognitive function. Sulforaphane improves diabetes. Sulforaphane reduces inflammation. Sulforaphane can act as an antibacterial and antifungal. Sulforaphane fights the flu virus. Sulforaphane boosts the immune system by increasing natural killer cells. Sulforaphane supports the kidneys. Sulforaphane decreases the risk of cardiovascular disease. Sulforaphane improves osteoarthritis. Sulforaphane reduces the severity of arthritis. Sulforaphane improves liver function. Sulforaphane protects the liver from over-the-counter drugs. Sulforaphane helps with obesity. Sulforaphane-rich vegetables contribute to a healthy and diverse microbiome. As with any nutrient, even water, a word of caution should be noted in dosage. After 11 years with unremarkable side effects, researchers were able to identify a toxicity point of sulforaphane in mice. The symptoms began with lethargy to seizures and at high dose, death. However, the dog dose equivalent would likely be improbable in its natural form. While concentrated supplements do exist on the market, few are showing measurable amounts of sulforaphane due to the unstable nature of myrosinase. In my calculations, a 20-pound dog would need to eat nearly eight jars of broccoli sprouts to hit the low-dose toxicity level. There are no official guidelines in sulforaphane dosage as of yet for dogs or humans. The therapeutic cancer doses for dogs can be found in the first two canine cancer journal articles of this video. I've provided some basic calculations below so that you can work with your integrated vet for your own therapeutic doses. A general guideline for adding sprouts into your dog's diet would be to add 1 8 to 1 4 cup of sprouts to every 20 pounds of animal you are feeding. While this video focused specifically on broccoli sprouts, there are many health benefits of a variety of sprouts for your pet. The foundation of optimal health is a highly functioning and diverse microbiome. So try sprouting radish seeds, alfalfa, sunflowers, and many other canine-friendly sprouts. For those pet parents who want to incorporate a variety of sulforaphane-rich foods, 
Here is the list with the amounts of glucosinolates in the cruciferous vegetables. This is the precursor to the sulforaphane molecule. Glucoraphanin is a precursor to the isothiocyanate sulforaphane. It is found in all cruciferous vegetables with the highest concentration in broccoli sprouts. It is converted to sulforaphane via marasmase enzyme. Glucoraphanin is heat stable and may be converted to sulforaphane by exogenous forms of myrosinase. Myrosinase is an endogenous enzyme that converts glucoraphanin to sulforaphane. It is inactive when exposed to prolonged heat, and it is activated by being chewed, crushed, chopped, or blended. Exogenous forms of myrosinase can convert heat-stable glucoraphanin to sulforaphane. Mustard powder has a high concentration of myrosinase. Some subjects with a high-functioning and diverse microbiome may produce a small amount of myrosinase in the gut, yet this has not been determined in canines. Sulforaphane promotes detoxification via NRF2 pathways and increases glutathione levels. It has anti-cancer properties that is shown to prevent and destroy various types of cancer. It boosts the immune system and inhibits inflammation. There are hundreds of scientific articles that support multiple benefits in humans and animals. Canine-specific studies include preventing the progression of osteoarthritis, reducing risk and progression of various canine cancers, promoting urinary and kidney health, as well as activating various detoxification pathways. Three ways to obtain sulforaphane from the mature broccoli head. Blend raw broccoli, blend cooked broccoli, and add exogenous myrosinase. Increase sulforaphane by three and a half times by cooking the broccoli at 140 degree Fahrenheit for 10 minutes and then blending. Two ways to obtain sulforaphane from broccoli sprouts. Blend the raw sprouts. Soak raw broccoli sprouts in a warm liquid at 158 degree Fahrenheit for 10 minutes prior to blending. While both forms are highly beneficial to our pets when presented properly, sprouts can have up to 100 times more bioavailable sulforaphane. They are easier for our canines to digest raw, and they are less goitrogenic for our dogs with thyroid disorders. What is the best option to feed our dogs? Really any and all of these options, from the chemoprotective properties to detoxification to contributing to a highly functioning and diverse microbiome, adding a variety of sulforaphane-rich vegetables can contribute to the longevity and health of our dogs. If needed, you can calculate therapeutic doses with your integrated vet. If you enjoyed this video and would want to see more like it, please consider liking, sharing, or commenting below.